Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so, the acknowledgement of country is a protocol that's practiced across Australia to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land. So, we'll start, we acknowledge the land that we meet on today is the traditional lands of the Ghana people. We respect their spiritual relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Ghana people as the traditional custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural heritage beliefs are still as important um, to living Ghana people today. So, um, my name's Doug. I'm not from Adelaide. I'm an Aboriginal man from Western Australia. I'm a Yamaji buddy mine man from the middle of Western Australia, but I've been here for over 40 years. So, um, a few things I want to share with you today. Ab Aboriginal people have been here forever. Research shows that Aboriginal people have um, lived and um, t uh, cared for this country for over 65,000 years. Um, and at the time of European settlement, there were over 600 Aboriginal language groups across Australia. In South Australia, there were 52. Currently, there are 39 language groups, Aboriginal language groups in South Australia. The Ghana people, who are traditional custodians of the Adelaide Plains that we stand on now, are just one of them. So, the Ghana um, country um, extends to north to Crystal Brook, south to Cape Jarvis, and is bordered by the Gulf of St. Vincent and the Adelaide Hills. Um, <coughs> there are about 38,000 Aboriginal people that reside in South Australia, um, from remote um, South Australia, uh, remote communities, across many bit different little communities and within, um, South, uh, within Adelaide. Um, just want to let you guys know, as you know, um, new to this country, Aboriginal culture is more diverse than it is the same. Um, one of the biggest myths about Aboriginality is if you've got fair skin, you cannot be Aboriginal. We come in many different shapes, colours and forms. All right? um, just remember, Aboriginality is like a cup of tea. It doesn't matter how much milk you add, it'll always be a cup of tea. We try to impart on people that it's not what you look like on the outside, it's who you are on the inside. Um, so, um, and Aboriginal people continue to have a deep, um, deep connection with land and culture. Um, in many different forms, from significant cultural events, um, and as such as Reconciliation Week, which is a big week in May, that is about reconciling differences between cultures, and also NAIDOC Week, which is one of the biggest weeks on the Aboriginal calendar, which we just had last week, it's always the first week um, in July. So you might see down King William Street, um, all the Aboriginal flags, which are the red, black, with the yellow um, sun in the middle, and the Aboriginal flag that sits in Victoria Square. It's been flown continuously in Victoria Square since the 12th, um, 12th of July, 1971. So you'll notice on all council buildings and government buildings and on at the Adelaide City Council, there are three flags. We have three flags of Australia. We have the national flag, we have the Aboriginal flag, and we have the flag of the Torres Strait Islands. So, um, uh, there are many things that you can learn about Aboriginal culture um, and one of the things, one, a part of my role is working with employers and in industry on employing Aboriginal people. One of the things is, is about dispelling myths, things that people hear about Aboriginal people um, and making sure that the correct information, it's all about education. So um, if you, anyone is interested in learning more about Aboriginal culture, there are many ways to do it here in South Australia. Um, just a few at Tandanya um, National Art Gallery. It's down the end of Grenfell Street. Um, a lot of um, modern and contemporary and traditional um, visual and um, uh, uh, contemporary art performing arts. There's the SA Museum, who have a, a great um, Aboriginal artefact uh, exhibition. Also, they have an Aboriginal curator, um, Aboriginal tour guides as well, and I was out at the State Library of South Australia this morning, and they've got um, uh, uh, specialist material relating to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, a number of significant um, Aboriginal anthropolo anthropo anthropological archival collections, including um, history of the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains, and also they've got a really good connect, uh, collection um, around the Port Maclay Aboriginal Mission, which is, was established in 1869. It's down near the mouth of the, the Murray River. Um, it's now called Ralpin. Now, if anybody has a $50 note, you can have a look on there. There's an Aboriginal man on a $50 note. 
His name is David Ulipan. He's a very significant, um, prominent Aboriginal man. He was an inventor, a poet, um, and a writer. And um, also there's a little church that's on the $50 note that's from the little Aboriginal community down um, at Raukin. There's a lot of cultural tours around Adelaide as well. Um, one of them, the Adelaide, um, Adelaide Botanical Gardens um, Bush Food Trail from Bookerby Tours, which is a very good um, source of information that explains all about the significance of the Adelaide um, city centre and what it means to Aboriginal people. And there's also cultural tours in the York Peninsula, uh, the Flinders Ranges. Um, I'm actually going up to Flinders Ranges tomorrow. The um, Wilpena Pound Resort is Aboriginal owned and run by Aboriginal people. Um, a lot of traditional tours and trails and information. A lot of the information can be found on the um, sa.gov.au website and also um, by experiencing the Adelaide Fringe Festival and the Adelaide Festivals which have a lot of Aboriginal cultural events, tours and things. So um, that's all for me, so thank you for having me along and I hope you learned a little bit today. Thank you.